Unified now moving forward with their plan to reopen their schools and to bring back staff and students on campus for the fall. Today, the superintendent laying out the district's plan on how this will look and the price tag involved with it. Our Kaylee Hunt joins us live from Hoover High School in Fresno. And Kaylee, you did speak with the Teachers Association on these new guidelines. Are they on board? Well, Manuel Bonilla with the Fresno's Teachers Association says, although this is a step in the right direction, with COVID-19 cases increasing, things can change fast. The discussion on how to safely open up schools in the midst of a pandemic is taking place nationwide. And here locally, Fresno Unified believes they are on the right track. I'm trying to recognize that kids and families want to be back in school and to provide the safest possible alternative for them to do that that we possibly can. Superintendent Bob Nelson says the district put away $13.1 million for their schools to use as they begin to safely reopen. $13.1 million is going to go directly to provide support, sustaining supports for um, COVID-19 specific needs in this scenario. You know, it's happening already. I mean, we've had to start implementing from a deep cleaning perspective. That money will also be used to provide masks for students and staff and extra substitutes if needed. However, Manuel Bonilla with the Fresno Teachers Association believes this isn't enough. We need detailed uh, protocols and procedures that uh, are communicated out. and We have not seen that as a public and so if I'm a parent, I don't know what I'm sending my student back to. Bonilla says there needs to be more transparency on what to do if an outbreak takes place at a school, along with how they plan on physically distancing students in each and every classroom. For the, for the safety of our students, for the safety of their families, for the safety of our own health and our families, that we could only do so if we could do it safely. The district has sent out another survey for students and teachers to see if they will be returning to in-school instruction. Now, the last day to turn in that survey is July 31st, and if you do not answer the survey, the school district will assume you will be present on the first day of school, which is August 17th. Reporting live from Hoover High School, I'm Kaylee Hunt, KC24, local news that matters.